because I simply have to. So you're probably watching this because you're either a college student, recent graduate, and or someone with a really messed up sleep schedule. And so at this point, you're probably thinking, maybe if I wake up at an ungodly hour, I will have more productive time throughout the day. I mean, alternatively, look, another pretentious college student on YouTube. Rise and grind, baby. <laughs> when you search up why I wake up at 5 a.m. on YouTube, these videos get millions and millions of views. Hmm, I wonder if there's an incentive to make a video about waking up at 5 a.m. even if you don't actually wake up at 5 a.m. And once you modify the search by a single hour to 6 a.m., suddenly no one gives a shit. I think it's reasonable to draw the conclusion that there's this weird fascination with waking up at 5 a.m. I think because it's just at the cusp between early rising and just inhumane. Before you dislike this video, I'd like to clarify that I've actually been waking up between 5.30 and 6.30 a.m. pretty much every day for the past month or so, and will continue to for the remainder of the summer. It takes me roughly an hour and a half to even two hours to get to work most days. Speaking of which, I need to get to work, so I will see you after that. Okay, I'm back home from work and now we're going to transition into talking about whether waking up at 5 a.m. has changed my life for the better. Goes without saying that changing your sleep schedule that drastically is a really difficult task, but this isn't to say that waking up at 5 a.m. is a bad idea. For a minority of people, it could be really beneficial and for some, it's just plainly necessary. For example, a med student on their surgical rotation probably has to wake up at 5 a.m. or even earlier. Successfully shifting your sleep schedule earlier doesn't magically grant you more hours in the day to get work done. In order to make waking up at 5 a.m. sustainable, you have to go to sleep earlier. This seems like common sense, but I totally understand that after watching people online do it, you might think that waking up at 5 a.m. is the source of their new found productivity and that making the switch will work for you but oftentimes these videos can be really misleading and create an impact that's a lot more toxic than the creator's intention and especially in college sleeping before 12 a.m. or even 1 a.m. can be really difficult not even for academic reasons usually but because nighttime is usually when my friends are free so summer has been a perfect time for me to experiment with waking up early consistently and here's what I've found. First of all, this past semester in college, I would go to sleep between 1.30 and 2 a.m. usually and struggle to wake up at 9 a.m. I would get a consistent around seven to eight hours of sleep but still feel exhausted. And even now in the summer on weekends when I decide to sleep in to around eight or 9 a.m., I feel a lot worse than when I wake up at 6.30. I think this is because my body has adjusted to consistently waking up early in the mornings. So sleeping in can actually be hindering to your productivity and mindset that sets the tone for the rest of the day. If you're interested in this topic and want to learn more, you can search up delayed sleep phase syndrome or you can check out my video on sleep habits. Number two, I've been able to function on less hours of sleep than I normally do. In college, I felt exhausted no matter how much sleep I got, anywhere from seven to nine hours and this past month I've been averaging about like six hours and 40 to 50 minutes but I would probably have to attribute this more to the fact that I'm not in school I'm a lot less mentally exhausted now that I don't have to worry about my grades or my extracurriculars number three waking up earlier has made me feel a lot more productive in the mornings and early afternoons I feel like I'm able to accomplish a lot more during the daytime I've noticed that for me I feel a lot more motivated when it's still bright out so even though shifting your sleep schedule earlier won't grant you more hours in the day, 
it might figuratively grant you more productive hours in the sense that you'll be maximizing your time when you are awake. This does come with a trade-off though because once I get home from work or it gets to night time, I feel a lot less motivated to do work that involves a lot of mental exertion. You can have this whole debate about limited or unlimited willpower, but I personally think that if I'm maximizing the heck out of my daytime hours, I'm going to be a lot more tired during the nighttime, and whether that's a net gain or loss is sort of hard to decipher. So if I had to get home from work and then immediately hit the books and study for the MCAT, I would be so, so drained, and I don't think the schedule would have worked for me. So here are my overall thoughts. I would say that the research-backed hypothesis that shifting your sleep schedule earlier increases productivity is true to a certain extent. I think this is probably more because sunlight implicitly signals that you have more time left in the day to accomplish a task. That and the fact that you probably aren't getting social media or text notifications that early in the morning. But I don't think that waking up earlier will give you more hours in the day. I think waking up at 5 a.m. would technically be feasible if you were a lot more socially isolated. And what I mean by that is when you're in a setting like in college where you're surrounded by friends and everyone is always free at night but not during the daytime, going to sleep early and waking up early is really, really challenging and requires a lot of discipline. But if you're a professional, I could see how waking up at 5 a.m. is a lot more fitting for your lifestyle. Personally, I would say that the model of going to sleep around 12 and waking up at 7 would be most ideal for me. It's ambitious enough, it would optimize daylight hours without sacrificing time with friends at night. I hope this video shed some light on the notorious topic of waking up at 5 a.m. This was my honest experience and I actually have been consistent for the past over a month. Let me know if you've ever tried adjusting your sleep schedule down in the comments below and tell me what your experience was like. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye! The sun rises at 5.51.